All right, everyone, welcome back to Street City Studio. I'm John, and it is the day after Christmas. Uh, it's the last week of the year before the new year, before 2024. And uh, I thought this would be a good opportunity. I had some suggestions in my comment section from you guys, and thought we would cover some of my favorite acquisitions from the year. Uh, now, I've picked up quite a few figures this year, quite a lot of toys this year. Uh, so, I'm going to have to break it up. And I think the way we'll break it up is we'll do, uh, we'll probably do Jurassic Park figures today. Right? Okay. Got the dinosaurs out. And we'll take a look at some Jurassic Park figures. Uh, because... This has been a very good year for me and Jurassic Park figures. Uh, just a year, two years ago, I didn't have anything of a Jurassic Park collection. Uh, and so, with the Legacy Collection and the Hammond Collection being out on shelves and at a very fair price, uh, I've pretty much gone all in. Now, I'll say this with any... With any toy lines, I am not a completionist, right? I'm not seeking to pick up one of everything in the line. Just whatever catches my attention, you know? And that's pretty much anything I do, any toy line. Uh, even, even my Star Wars vintage collection, I don't really seek to catch one of every figure that comes out. Uh, lots of them I don't have any interest in. Mm -hmm. uh, but <clears throat> just for the sake of uh, breaking it up well we'll probably keep today's video just two Jurassic Park figures and um, I suppose tomorrow we can do Star Wars and then uh, and then Marvel I'm trying to think if I'm missing something some some of my figures don't fall into those categories, like my water margin figures. Uh, so maybe I'll do a bonus day on Friday or something with some water margin, or I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But uh, I definitely wanted to talk about some of the best figures I've gotten this year, and there's been quite a few. <laughs> so with Jurassic Park, let me get out of the way here. Right, right off the bat, uh, I want to start off with not just this set here, right? But but the whole thing, right? Jurassic Park Three, basically. All right, but this little egg backpack set, I really like this set. Uh, not just because of the eggs, but they definitely don't hurt. Right? That's an amazing accessory. The fact that it opens and closes. You pull the eggs out. Right? And even this figure looks better in the face than that last one did. By quite a bit. But I was pretty excited to get this figure. Uh, I was a big fan of these raptors specifically uh, I was a big fan of that movie um, but not just this white raptor that came with Alan Grant but the quillium raptor too right the male with, with the quills up there right I'm a big fan of that pack of raptors specifically and those are the main two, right? So that's pretty exciting for me to have these three figures. It feels like a set. Mm -hmm. I feel like he's going to fall down. There we go. Uh, but moving on from them, I think uh, from Jurassic Park Two had plenty of stuff too, right? The Lost World. 
right? I'm a big fan of rolling tempo, and I've pointed it out before, but if you haven't caught it, this is not your standard rolling tempo. He has upgraded wrists so that he can hold his gun better, right? Uh, but I'm a big fan of rolling tempo, and I like this figure a lot. So that's definitely high on that list. But in that same uh, in that same vein of Roman Tembo and the Lost World, right? I was real excited to get the Pachycephalosaurus, right? Give him a good head button. Dinosaurs always been high on my list. This one, right? Ever since I was a kid, I just thought that was so cool. The headbutton dinosaur, Pachycephalosaurus. Uh, and on that note, too, if I can get there, we go. Uh, just like I included those three, even though they weren't all sold together, right? Rolling Tembo and this Pachycephalosaurus, I was super happy to get some of these engine vehicles from that movie. Right, so you can have your Pachycephalosaurus, you know, headbutting a guy through the truck, you know. <laughs> I get a big kick out of that scene, and uh, especially when I was a kid, man, that was that was probably one of the better scenes for me. Um, so having having a rolling tempo with this Jeep and this Pachycephalosaurus. Well, that's pretty high on my list as well. Pretty happy about this one. Or these three, I suppose. Right? But that's what I mean. I kind of kind of think of that as a unit, you know. To, to kind of wrap up the raptors and get the raptors out of the way. Uh... I'm a big fan of the Pyro Raptor, and I really like the design in the film. And even this figure's pretty good looking. Uh, this is not the single carded one, I believe. This is the one that came with the uh, with the playset, with the with the fence base, whatever you call it. I can't remember what it's called right now, but. Um, I really wish he had more feathers going on off the bottom of his wings. But other than that, the articulation isn't, uh, you know, it's it's legacy collection. It's not, uh, it doesn't have that Hammond collection articulation. But I definitely needed a Pyro Raptor, and I'm happy to have one. It's probably, uh, aside from these two... It's probably my favorite Raptor. Right. I'm a big fan of Blue and Beta. But they just don't look as cool as this. That's a wicked looking dinosaur. He's just more evil looking, I guess. Mm -hmm. More scary and intense. But... I thought I would include him. He's pretty high on that list, right? Um, just for the sake of ease, I'm not going to pull these ones down. I'm just going to go up to them, right? Uh, my Brachiosaurus is pretty high on my list. And even my Apatosaurus is pretty high on my list. And Dreadnoughtus is high on my list. But I think... Uh, well, Brachiosaurus here just takes that spot. We don't need to spend too much time on them. Because they definitely don't hold no candle to the Brack. They definitely don't have no articulation comparable. Even his neck is soft. Uh, but we got the... We got the Hammond Collection T-Rex up here. Alright. Got that Jurassic Park classic Jeep. I love that Jeep so much. 
all right and we got this other jeep over here don't mind it that's a custom i'm letting the paint dry special chrome paint takes a long time to dry so i just kind of stuck them off to the side where i want to have to touch them <laughs> uh, but i definitely didn't want to skip over them the brachiosaurus and that t-rex is pretty high on that list Also, on this list, we have a Stegosaurus set. And I'm pretty happy with my Stegosaurus collection. It's not very impressive or big, but uh, just recently, I don't know, last couple months, I guess, I got... Yeah, it must have been about a month ago, two months ago. Uh, I had gotten, um, oh, what's her name? The set that came with the blonde and this. Uh, and so it gave me another Stegosaurus. So I'm happy to uh, throw my Stegosauruses out here. I like that I've got several scales of them now, right? I've got the tiny, tiny baby one. And that kind of teenage one, maybe, right? Adolescent. And then the, the full-grown mother, the full-grown adult Stegosaurus. I gotta say, I really like the paint jobs on these two, the green and the browns. I thought about trying to make this one match, but I figure I'll just leave them as it is. But they're definitely on the list, and I didn't want to ignore them. Uh... Now, next up was uh, Samuel L. Jackson's uh, Ray Arnold, right? I was super excited to get this figure this year. And uh, I had I, I was on the verge of buying the, the Comic-Con exclusive or the SDCC exclusive one that had the... Uh, you know, it came with that little little diorama bit, and his arm was removable or whatever. Uh, I had thought about buying that one, and honestly, I'm glad I held out because I didn't need all that extra stuff, the the diorama pieces and stuff. It wasn't exactly a memorable scene. We didn't see him get attacked. There was no point for all that, right? But I'm a big fan of everything he came with, right? He came with them. Little headset. Holds on pretty good. I was surprised by that. Removable glasses even, right? So he's got removable glasses and a removable headset. Well, that's pretty cool for, for headgear, right? Usually they don't overlap headgear. That always seems to be a point of contention for some figures that need headgear. They don't always get it. So, I'm happy to have a well-done headgear. That's for sure. Uh, another figure that I was super excited to get this year was the Muldoon. The Hammond Collection Muldoon. Because I really like Muldoon and his uh, his whole look, really. Uh, kind of in the same way that I'm a fan of uh, Timbo and that look, right? It's not very dissimilar, and even Muldoon was based on Timbo from the books, so they're pretty much the same character, right? Uh, but I didn't know none of that as a kid. I'm not necessarily a, a big reader as far as the books go, so I'm not a, necessarily a super fan for the books, right? But that Muldoon is so much better than the Legacy Collection one. And it's just, it was needed. It was much needed. Because uh, I had that Legacy Collection one, and I tried to work them in 
certain photos and stuff sometimes. And I always regretted it. I always, I, w I would always look at the photographs and be like, man, this would be a good photo if it weren't for this ugly figure. So, this one is definitely a step up and a nice improvement over that Legacy Collection one. And I can happily take photos of them and not worry about, uh, worry about them ruining my photos right uh and i think uh last but not least on my favorite jurassic park figures right is ian malcolm i don't think uh i don't think anybody can say they're a fan of the jurassic park franchise without being a fan of ian malcolm right He's definitely one of the one of the pivotal characters. But especially for me and this channel, I gotta thank him for donating a body. <laughs> right? Right? Because we definitely spend a lot of time looking at that suit here on this channel, I think. <laughs> but I chose it just because it's generic enough. It's civilian enough. Right, it's casual. I tend to wear a lot of black, anyways. I'm not really in a goth phase, but I may have at one time. <laughs> but uh, I'm trying to think, some honorable mentions would be uh, my Parasaurolophuses. I got a couple Parasaurolophuses that I'm real happy to have. Trying to think if there's any others. I did get this uh, Intrepidus Morose. I like the paint job on. I really like that paint job. But other than that, I'm not a super fan or anything. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> that's all right. I'll get it when I'm done here. But pretty much that's it, I think. I'm trying to think if I forgot any dinosaurs or any figures. Um, I think definitely at the top of my list would be... Uh, Where did he go? Oh, he's, he's the one that fell. At the very top of my list. Figures. I, I couldn't do without, right? Figures I couldn't do without. I think I think Tembo's real high on that list. I would have a Tembo even if it was just a standalone rolling Tembo. Right. This Alan Grant, right? If he still comes with these backpacks and those eggs. That would be a must have, even if it was just him, right? But it's not, is it? He also came with one of the most unique dino and one of the most unique raptors designs that we've seen so far. Mm. I really like that. That's a great design. But I think that's about it, right? Best Jurassic Park figures I've gotten this year. Uh, some of them, I'm trying to think, right? Like this baby brat. I think I've had that for probably two or three years, so even though I included it, that's not technically. I was just talking about the Mama Brachiosaurus. I think that's about it, though. Uh, I got a I got a bag of dinosaurs down here, but there there's a lot of legacy collections, uh, other I got like a whole slew of these poorly articulated raptors. Oh, I will. I can't remember his name, but I did get this guy early in the year, and he's kind of neat. 
I don't know exactly. I don't know a lot about him. Sukumimus or something. I can't remember. Uh, but he, he did make an appearance on that cartoon. Uh, and I did, I did get a kick out of that. Um, blue beta. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna drop stuff. I do got this baby Triceratops I was pretty pleased with. That's a good one to have. And since I keep bringing it up, I am pretty pleased to have a beta. Uh, beta was one I needed. I honestly want a smaller one. This isn't small enough. I feel like this beta is about the size some of these raptors should be. Right. And, and beta, beta should be half of this size maybe. But I was real happy to get it either way. Right. I had blue for a long time so I was happy to get a beta to go with it. But I think we'll leave it right there. Right. Even if I miss something that's something we can uh, tack on to another video in the future right I don't think that's the end of the world uh, trying to think but I think that's about it I think I'm gonna call it good right here and we'll uh, wrap it up uh, if you guys want to check me out on Facebook I'd appreciate that a lot go ahead and follow me over on Facebook at uh, John Wayna w-a-y-n-a -A, that's me John Wayna on Facebook. Uh, if you want to find me on Instagram, I post a lot of my toy photography on Instagram. You can follow me over on Instagram at Street City Toys. Uh, not Street City Studio like the channel, but Street City Toys. Uh, but otherwise, I mean, you guys have, have a great last week of 2023. Uh... Go spend time with your family, enjoy enjoy the holidays, enjoy probably a lot of you got time off this week, I hope, so enjoy your downtime, but uh, I appreciate you guys coming by, you keep playing with them toys, and I'll talk to you again real soon.